good morning y'all uh good morning you all uh god bless y'all wake up uh i ain't messing with y'all uh y'all keep on taking your time uh one day at a time little by little keep this in mind not everything is going to be done for you at one time all right you should have this in your mind by now okay uh, uh, you got to take the good with the bad, my brothers or sisters, because you can't have one without the other, all right? Mm -hmm. You can't have ups without downs, fouls without free throws, daytime without nighttime. You experience this every 24 hours, all right? You got 12 hours a day, and then you got 12 hours a night. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes things are going to be sunny and smooth, and sometimes they're not. All right. All right. I know you want to stay in the sunshine and all that good stuff, this and that. You don't want to see no nighttime, but uh, you got to see some nighttime moments in life, okay? I love the fact stars only shine at night. I love to go outside and look at the stars whenever they, they clear. If the sky not covered by the clouds, you can see the stars really good. You only see them at night, though. Stars don't shine in the daytime, only at night. You are a star, my brother. So, so listen, in the darkest hours of your life, you can shine ever so bright like a star in the midst of the night if you allow the process to do what God intends for it to do. <laughs> Boy, I understand that. That's where you get your shine time in, when you when stuff is not looking so bright. <laughs> in the darkest hours of your life, <laughs> that's when you get your shine time in. You're, you are capable to. You are more than able to. <laughs> Learn how to call on God your Father. Ask Him to send Jesus Christ to help you, okay? <laughs> Learn. Learn how to walk with Him in the lowest points of your life. And when you, when you got that, understand that? You got it, my brother, sister. Listen. Man, let me just dab on that. Uh, all glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. You got to give credit, honor, and glory to his due. Okay? Uh, today is Sunday. <clears throat> uh, Sunday, February 25th. 5.06 a.m. 2024. The best is yet in store. <laughs> if uh, I like to be up while most of the people snore, <laughs> why you get up so early, bro? Listen, if you go to sleep early, you can wake up early. <laughs> if you're not up all night chasing the females, bros, <laughs> uh, fellas, if you ain't up all night chasing the ladies, uh, ladies, if you ain't up all night chasing the brothers, <laughs> uh, what you waiting on that phone call that ain't come yet? <laughs> Somebody, if they was going to call you, they'd have called you by now. Get some rest, okay? Uh, yeah, anyway, what you up all night for? You trying to get that money? It'll come to you. <laughs> Whatever. So the harder you try, the harder you fall. Some people put a whole lot of effort in doing this and that. <laughs> and don't, that's not really important. But uh, I like to be up while most of y'all snore. <laughs> uh, if you didn't get you one of these books, you should have got you one before. <laughs> Because after this month, I can't print out no more. But I got a whole lot more coming up. Uh, this is a nice book called Knowledge from uh, God Almighty. I, I think I got like 10 left. Uh, it's a nice book called Knowledge from God Almighty. Knowledge from God Almighty. Volume 1. Uh, by some dude named Devontae Farmer. Whoever he is. Nice book. Nice name. <laughs> uh, but listen. With some, with some very great teachers in here, if I do say so myself. But listen. This book does not replace the Bible. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're never going to get step two without taking step one. Step one, taking God's word. Everything you need, can need, will need is found in God's word. And in God's word, alone. All right? Mm -hmm. All right. Once you start taking God's word, the rest is pouring to you, man. Mm -hmm. So God will cut the water faucet on for you. And it is just flooding to you. Mm -hmm. But that's what you must do. Take step one. Many people on step 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You never took step one. <laughs> step one, taking God's word. Once you take God's word, you, you don't need me no more. <laughs> I don't want no one to ever feel like they need me. Everything I do is for people to go beyond. <laughs> if you, I can tell who paying attention, who ain't paying attention. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I can tell who here for fun and fashion and who ain't here for fun and fashion. Uh, word. <laughs> I, it's like a little kid. You can see one little children growing up and walking properly <laughs> versus the ones who just, um, I use for older people. You can tell people who are more serious in life and who are not serious. You can tell people who take life serious and people who just mm, who just having fun. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. I grew up really fast at a young age. You know what I mean? I always mm, it's been in me to mm, to pay attention. 
Most of it, they don't pay attention. I'm not here for no likes, for no, I'm not here for no award show. I'm not here to be this and that, because I don't care what people think about me. I'm not here to entertain people. I'm not looking for a girlfriend. I'm not trying to meet people this and that or that. I'm not here for none of that stuff. I'm here to teach. To, I'm here that God could use me to teach people to grow and take life seriously. You hear me? Nothing else. You hear me? Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? I just love, I want someone to grow and have something that I never had growing up. But that, that I get, everything I get, I give out. You see what I'm saying? I could charge y'all arm and leg. But, uh, People charge your arm and leg. Where was I going to? Yeah, I can tell who taking step one because they growing. You hear me? I, I got, got, I got young people who will blow you out the water with some of the stuff that they they learn. You see what I'm saying? Listen, it don't take a long time. All you gotta do is take step one. Step one, taking God is work. Okay, very first thing, very important. Uh, where is me going to? Yeah, if there's any truth in the books, they're gonna point you to the Bible. Okay. Uh, I love to read the Holy Quran. That is the divine inspired word of God, revelation from God, given by God Almighty Himself to the Prophet Muhammad through the angel Gabriel, and it points you to the Bible. Hmm. Y'all go see my Quran teaching. I'm in the Bible. They go hand in hand. Hmm. You can't read the Holy Quran without reading the Bible. Okay, hmm. that's probably why you don't see many people reading the Holy Quran because they cannot read their Bibles. So I would advise you to get a Bible. Okay, where are we going to? We don't know. We don't know. Uh, you know. Uh, I was talking, talk, I don't know, yesterday or the day before yesterday, but a lot of people are looking for love in the wrong places. <laughs> uh, where that's why they don't never experience this. <laughs> and you wonder why I'm talking about love so much, because I'm telling you, as I'm growing up, I'm finding, <laughs> and my, my love is based in God, my father. Yeah? I, you got to fall in love with something, <laughs> something internal, not external. <laughs> a lot of people looking for external stuff. God dwells within you. My brother or sister, <laughs> you need to fall in love with the greatest thing to fall in love with. Two greatest commandments. Love the Lord your God uh, with all your heart, mind, and soul. Jesus Jesus said this is the first and greatest commandment. Mm -hmm. You hear me? If God is the base of everything you got going on, mm -hmm. if God is the base of your heart, mm -hmm. you got it, my brother or sister, because everything else come and go. People come and go. Family come and go. Friends come and go. Money come and go. God said, be content with what you got. He said, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. He, he never, he don't come and go. He here forever. And you'll be with him forever one day. You hear me? That love is a permanent love. You hear me? Everything else is temporary. Uh, that's what you need to fall in love with. That's who you need to fall in love with. You hear me? Uh, of knowing who your father is. All right? And being in his word. Uh, that's how you hang on to God. Get to know him. Uh, in the beginning, what? Was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Okay? Listen. Uh, the second commandment, just like the first, love your neighbor as yourself. It's hard to love somebody else when you don't love yourself. Okay, love. Mm -hmm. Most they don't. Most don't love themselves correctly. They think they do, but they don't. And it shows in their actions. You see what I'm saying? All right. Well, that's one thing. When you understand that, when you understand that, and when you when you begin to find love, mm -hmm. you you wonder why I'm talking about it so much that I hold on to. It, you see what I'm saying? Because. Mm -hmm. It's, it's very precious, okay? It's, it's one thing people don't do. They, they don't value themselves. They don't they don't love themselves. And word, even better, they don't they don't find the right love. They're looking for external love and a girlfriend, boyfriend, job, career, fame, whatever. That's not love, man. Love, true love is found in the Lord. All right, but anyway, where are we going to? Um, yeah, I was going somewhere. We don't know. It's early in the morning. <laughs> Y'all have a sense of humor. I'm a very serious person, but I got a sense of humor. But you must take life serious at the same time. Uh, but at the same time, enjoy life. Many people don't enjoy life. You got to find something to fall in love. I love to read. In time, you know, you got to use your mind. And yeah, most people, they're not. You got to fall in love with something in time, okay? Some people like to write. I love to write, too. All right. <clears throat> it's like when people make music or something, hmm? They express themselves. It comes from within. Uh, people sing some of the most. They sing some of the most beautiful songs or whatever. When people who write music. It's coming from within. I understand why people like music. It comes from within. Sometimes people make. The, sometimes they make the wrong music. You don't want to make the. You don't. You don't want to express yourself a certain way because it come out negative. I'm just talking about shoot them up, get this and get that. We're gonna get this off and make this happen. We're gonna come back and do this. <laughs> you know, you want to express yourself the right way. Okay, but if you. 
I understand that too, though. But anyway, go to Psalms 26. I mean, Isaiah 26, verse 1. Isaiah 26, verse 1. It says, And that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God made salvation as walls and ramparts. Open the gates that the righteous nation may enter. The nation that keeps faith. Where some people lose faith. Don't ever lose faith, man. You must believe. Even when stuff don't... The Bible says we walk by faith, not sight. Hey, what you see will throw you down. I don't focus on too much on what I see. It's, it's as much... It's just like a mirror. Uh, put it, Make it a better way. What you see can throw you off. You must look through the eyes of faith, okay? Because what you see in reality, it throw you off sometimes. Even with... Listen, it throw you off what you see. You must look through the eyes of faith, okay? And stay in that uh, word. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Uh, open the gates that the righteous nation may enter, the nation that keeps faith. You will keep in perfect peace. Isaiah talking about the Lord. You will keep in perfect peace. Those whose minds are steadfast. You must keep, you must keep your mind steadfast, <laughs> What's that fast mean? Unchanging, unswerving. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people's minds all over the place. I keep my mind on the Lord, mm -hmm. on his word. Uh, everything positive, not just a positive outlook, but, but true. Everything that's true. Mm -hmm. You hear me? I don't focus on the negative, but on but on uh but on positive, true. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, you must do this. You are keeping perfect peace. Those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord himself is the rock eternal. Amen. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord forever. Always keep your eyes on him and keep your mind on him. He will keep you in perfect peace. You're going to have your days now, here and now. Uh, Isaiah 30, verse 15, Brother Isaiah wrote, This is what the, this is what the sovereign Lord, uh, the Holy One of Israel says, And repentance and rest is your salvation. A lot of y'all, if you're messing up, repent. Ain't nothing wrong with repent. Mm, it ain't gonna kill you. Mm. Many people act like they Annie Griffin or Miss Teresa. They don't do no wrong. I repent every morning and every night. Mm. I'm always asking the Lord to forgive me for my lustful eyes and my lustful heart, my sexual immorality, my impurity, my idolatry, my adultery, my covenants, my anger, and my greed. Mm. I know I need help. <laughs> uh, that's why I always go to the doctor, mm. to the true doctor. Mm. Uh, and I don't, you don't got to get in the car. You don't got to make a trip. It don't take a long time. <laughs> Jesus says, not the helpful who need a doctor, but the sick. Jesus Christ is the greatest doctor alive. You hear? <laughs> Listen, alive and breathing and active. <laughs> All right. You can go to him. Do you not notice? <laughs> uh, call out to him. Isaiah 55 say, uh, verse 6 say, uh, seek the Lord while he may be found. Be very near. <laughs> All right. And repentance and rest. You must rest. People don't, it's like people, they don't like to rest. You must be still sometimes. People, they worry about a lot of stuff. And repentance and rest. Rest. Some people don't want to rest. They want to be worried all the time. Anxiety and filled with this, filled with that. Relax. <laughs> How you do this? Be still. A lot of people, they don't want to be still. And repentance and rest is your salvation. And quietness and trust is your strength. But you will have none of them. people that they don't want this. I don't know who, who wouldn't want who wouldn't want salvation. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't want strength? And you find this in, in repentance and rest mm -hmm. and quietness and in trust. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't want this? Mm -hmm. Why would you want to be crazy and uh, frantic all the time? Uh, Isaiah forty-eight verse eighteen, verse seventeen, brother uh, Isaiah said. This is what the Lord says. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Uh, this is what the Lord says. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God who teaches you what is best for you. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, who directs you in the way you should go. Don't you know God always instructs me in which way you should go? A lot of y'all just not paying attention. <laughs> A lot of people... They more in tune with the world than they is the word. But God always speaking to you. You just got to listen. You got to quiet yourself. There's so much stuff that goes on. I got friends and this going on, that going on. I be still and just listen. You got to quiet yourself sometimes. I can't get caught up. I can easily get worried about 
looking for a wife or <laughs> trying to find the best job or trying to get this. <laughs> be still. Pay attention to what's important. <laughs> Take life one day at a time. You want to you want to plan ahead of time, and if you can, the Bible says use wisdom and knowledge. But <laughs> it's only you can only really focus on what you got going on right now. <laughs> a lot of people they stuck. Uh, and yesterday or tomorrow, yesterday, yesterday gone, and tomorrow ain't even here yet. You worry about your bills you got to pay, correct? It ain't even got here yet. How I'm gonna do this? How I'm gonna do that? <laughs> Listen, you, you could you could die tomorrow. <laughs> you worry about you, you. A lot of people were overthinking themselves. Yeah, <laughs> relax your mind. Uh, did that make any sense to you? Yes, no. A lot of people overthink a whole lot of stuff. And they stuck in the past. What what happened? This and that or whatever. Repent. And get over it. And where? If you yesterday gone, you can't get yesterday back. Okay. You here right now. Make the best out of life right now. Enjoy yourself. Man, if they're not doing this, they, you can tell people who just they worry about this, worry about that. They got this going on, that going on. I'll be looking at people like, man, life is not that. It's not that chaotic. Life is very simple, but people make it more complicated than what it needs to be. True? Yes? No? The Lord always teaches you which way you should go. People just don't pay attention. Listen, you could bring someone to the water, but you can't make them drink. God always instructing you, brother or sister, on which way you should go. I mean, they just don't listen. They listen to the wrong thing. <laughs> I, could easily, I could easily get caught up in the nightlife doing this or doing that. <laughs> Man, I'm going to rest and relax. <laughs> Word. Uh, I am the Lord your God who teaches you. This is what the Lord says. I am the Lord your God who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you and the way you should go. If only you had paid attention to my commands, to his word, your peace would have been like a river, your well-being like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would have been like the sand. Your children, like the numberless grains, their name will never be blotted out nor destroyed from before me. You see, it's good to pay attention. Most people, they're not paying attention. <laughs> but God has left you a set of instructions. <laughs> people just don't, they don't, they're not listening. I don't understand why, but I do. But excuse me, between Satan and sin in the world, most of them, they, 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 they call Excuse me, they caught up in the world. They focus on finding love. They're looking for love in the wrong place, first of all. They 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 love material things. They they got so much stuff going on. Like I told you, life is very simple. But people make it more complicated than what it needs to be. They they hanging on to stuff they don't need. When it's this to me, man, I have lost everything. I I have lost I have lost everything like three times before in my life, man. Y'all heard me say I've been places y'all ain't gonna get to go to. I'm not saying this for no reason. Mm. Is that, you think I'm lying or something? Mm. Listen, I've been places you ain't gonna get to go to. Some of y'all might get to go there. I don't know, but mm. I was doing something ain't got no business doing. All right? Mm. And I thank God I made it back. I'm happy to be alive and free or whatever and be able to learn from my mistakes. I'm able to learn lessons without truly having to learn my lesson all the way. Mm. Losing a little bit of money, I can live with that. Mm. Some people gotta do 10, 15, 20 years to to understand hmm, that this ain't life ain't all about this. You tell, and some people they don't learn that even still. I don't gotta do all that. Hmm. Once I see, I, this it don't it don't. Hmm, it's common sense. Hmm. Where you you don't need to. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, I thank God for that. Uh, yeah, but most people they looking for love in the wrong places. They. What are talking about? I forgot they're talking about. Uh, oh, I've been places people ain't going to go to doing this and doing that. Uh, I started thinking about something. I lost my train of thought for a sec. <laughs> uh, uh, I can't. I, I don't remember what I was talking about. I started thinking about something. So y'all bear with me. Let it happen from time to time. Mm -hmm. I got a head full up with a lot of stuff. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Say I've been places people ain't gonna get to go to. Which y'all think I'm lying or something? Uh, and that stuff is not important. Uh, and most of that stuff. Not important. But anyway, maybe to come back to me, maybe it won't. Uh, <laughs> let me drink my cough. Maybe it'll pop it back. I, I, I clearly, I want to remember what I was talking about. I'm going to go back and look at what I was saying. It'll pop back up to me. But this happens. Okay? <laughs> uh, that's going to drive me crazy. Because I'm going to be wondering what the heck I was talking about.
All right. And I don't got notes or whatever, so. Anyway. Uh, what was I going to? How come I keep, every time I get on this junk on the internet or whatever, people keep talking about these. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But y'all want to watch what y'all eating or whatever. Y'all, they, they. I don't even know if I should mention this. But it's, it's funny, though, because every time I, I look at my junk, there's always some little commercial junks talking about some blue chew or something. <laughs> what the heck is them little tablets or whatever? What y'all got going on, man? <laughs> y'all wide open. All them little tablets y'all popping for to, to have relations or whatever. I don't know, but <laughs> y'all be <feel> crazy. <laughs> every time the commercials be funny, man. <laughs> man people, y'all be was wide open. <laughs> Uh, you you want to stay away from all that type of medicine type stuff that's trying to increase your uh, whatever performance or whatever. Hmm? That stuff going to bring you down. Uh, every time, the, where are they getting y'all with a lot of stuff? It ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm just saying, I just, my mind be thinking. Hmm? That's y'all funny though. Cause I keep saying the commercials, man. Keep popping up. They getting y'all with these pills or whatever. I don't know. Y'all can get off that stuff. And folks, okay, uh, go to Amos chapter 9. <laughs> I got a sense of him. I'll be laughing and stuff. Y'all, y'all be people be tripping on this stuff. Uh, I, Amos chapter nine, uh, verse eleven. Uh, the title say Ezra's restoration. Y'all, I, I keep talking about Ezra being restored. Do y'all not want to be restored? Do you not know who Ezra is? <laughs> you are the people of Ezra. Ezra is the real location on the map. That's just the location, the place. But the people of Ezra, the people of Judah, the people of Jerusalem, Jerusalem, God's people. You are you are God's people. Do you not notice? Uh, <laughs> do you not know uh, all the attempts the world, well, the satanic people of the world, have been trying to mess us up with since a long, long time? And the food, the water, hmm. man, there's so much stuff that the people have been doing for a long period of time that y'all don't even, y'all not even aware of, probably. Hmm. If I start talking to people, you would think I'm, you, you might not think I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm telling you, hmm. y'all don't know, it's like, in the neighborhood, if you come from uh, most black communities, they, they got, got a term, they call it the projects. Hmm. If you're like in a low class neighborhood or whatever, they, they call it a project, the hood or whatever, okay? Uh, well, the whole world is a project. What is a project? Hmm. A project is a science experiment. You ever been in science class? They say you're about to do this project. Hmm. It's a science. It's a science experiment. Hmm. You are the test subjects, whether you notice or not. Hmm. Many of y'all are in a project and you don't know it. I ain't talking about you no know, just community. Hmm. I'm talking about in, in the sense of the world. Hmm. Y'all have been experimented on and you don't even know it. Hmm. Daily, y'all. Hmm get stuff from the science lab that y'all don't even know. It's in your water, it's in your food. You really want to watch what you're eating and drinking. If y'all drink faucet stuff out of water from the sink, I wouldn't advise you to do that. Where you want to pay attention to what you're eating and drinking. But uh, the good news is you ain't destroyed. Don't you know? Through all the attempts to get rid of you, you're still here. And the people who've been making life hard and attempting to bring you down, they got to pay for that one day. All right? They will pay for that one day. But, um, yeah, nah. I keep talking about Israel being restored because you're the people of Israel. You're the people of God. And God's going to restore you, brother or sister, uh, whoever I'm talking to. Uh, Amos chapter 9, verse 11 say, And that day I will restore David's fallen shelter. Mm -hmm. I will repair its wall, its broken walls, and restore its ruins, and will rebuild and will rebuild it as it used to be, so that they may possess the remnant of Edom, and all the nations and all the nations that bear my name, declares the Lord, who will do these things. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman, and the planter uh, by the one treading grapes. New wine will drip from the mountains and flow from all the hills, and I will bring my people Israel back from exile. Some of y'all been in exile. Some of us, we are in exile. <laughs> uh, are we not? Are we not in a strange land? <laughs> uh, they will rebuild. They will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them. <laughs> they will plant vineyards and drink their wine. 
They will make gardens uh, and eat their fruit. I will plant Israel in their own land, <laughs> never again to be uprooted from the from the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. Amen. <laughs> I love it. Uh, go to Zephaniah. Zeph you don't know what Zephaniah is right after uh, Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Zephaniah chapter uh, 3. It says, restoration of Israel's remnant. God always talking about restoring. He talk a lot about destroying too, but it's people he going to restore. God, listen, God is love. And, but when, when you love God, and listen, God is love, but he also, he understand hate. What you mean, Devante? God don't hate. What you talking about? Go to Proverbs chapter 6. When you love the Lord, you love good and you hate evil. True. God is love, but he also, he, he, he understand hate. You can't have one without the other. True. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 say, there are six things the Lord hates. Hmm? Where? Hmm? God is love, but he also hate a few things. <clears throat> True. Yes. No. Uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that, devi that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, uh, a false witness who, who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. God don't like that type of stuff. All right? He hate it. <laughs> That's what the word say, unless the word land, hmm, which I highly doubt. Uh, but listen, God is love. He always talking about restoring, hmm, and I love that. Hmm, all right, hmm, you know you got to take the good with the bad. All right, hmm, uh, Zephaniah chapter three, verse nine. It says, "Restoration of Israel's remnant." Verse nine. Then the Lord said, "Then I will purify the lips of the people." That all of them, that all of them may call on the name of the Lord and serve him shoulder to shoulder. Mm -hmm. It'll be like an army. From beyond, from beyond the rivers of Cush, my worshipers, my scattered people will bring me offerings. On that day, Jerusalem, Jerusalem will now be put to shame for all the wrongs you have done to me. Because I will remove from you your arrogant boasters. Never again will you be hearty on my holy hill. But I will leave within you the meek and the humble. The remnant of Israel will trust in the name, will trust in the name of the Lord. They will do no wrong. They will tell no lies. A deceitful tongue will not be found in their mouths. You know, God love truth. You get farther with the truth than you will lie. Right. Listen, I'm not perfect. Hmm? I told you, I tell you, I, I need help. I'm a sinner saved by grace. Hmm? You get farther with the truth than you will lie. Well, how come many, many people who up in the world, it seems like they're getting far? They're not getting far at all. Mm -hmm. Listen, life is short. Mm -hmm. There's some people who, uh, Satan currently got possession of the world right now. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like he is succeeding. Man, God gave him a 6,000 year head start. Mm -hmm. You know, and w when you make it clear, mm -hmm. the people that look ahead are really not ahead. Mm -hmm. Uh, hmm. your vision is a little bit off. You don't understand. Hmm. If the people who up in the world, it look like they up, but they really down. Hmm. If that making any sense to you. Listen, people who y'all look at as number one, the, the rich people, the multi-billionaires and stuff like that, hmm. if they up in the world without God and they don't got God, they really, they really are less. Jesus said, many who are first will be less. Did he not? What you mean? Hmm. The people y'all think first is not first. It just look like that. But what, what what makes them first to you? Because they got the money, the cars, the clothes, the females, or the whatever they, that's going on. Is that is that what make them number one to you? <laughs> if they die there tomorrow, they're going to hell. If they're not saved. So is that number one? Life is short. <laughs> what is 80 years of living uh, 
nice life on earth compared to eternity. Mm-hmm. You must die one day and your spirit going somewhere. Whether you believe in hell or not, God do. Mm-hmm. You might not believe in it, but it believe in you. Mm-hmm. Y'all get, be messing. Y'all get scared by watching that little wild stuff, do you not? Mm-hmm. So you don't believe in this, but you believe in other things. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's, you got to line up some now. Mm-hmm. You, you believe in spirits and stuff, but you don't believe in certain other stuff. Mm-hmm. Make it make sense. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> y'all, some people are very ignorant, <laughs> but that's why uh, y'all ever y'all ever see if I was to if I was if I was to commit a crime and I'm I got I'm in the car. It's three other people with me in the car. <laughs> Let's say I do something. I go rob a bank or something, and I come back in the car. And they don't know what I did, hmm? but they, we all get pulled over. Hmm? And they, and the people in the back seat, they can say, "I ain't know he was doing this or whatever." Listen, ignorance of the law hmm, is not going. You're not exempt. Hmm? You ever heard that phrase? Just because you ignorant to something, you you could be with somebody, and because you don't know, say you doing something, you you breaking a crime unknowingly with that. Hmm? Man, they gonna they gonna get you if you ignorant to the fact that this is good or bad. Hmm? Yeah, it, it, uh, it's, it's a term called ignorance of the law. Just because you're not aware of the of what you're doing, I didn't know this was a crime. Well, you know it now. When you, when they put you in the back seat, then you know it then, don't you? Okay, you was ignorant of the fact. You didn't know it was wrong. But listen, just because you don't know your, uh, just because you're ignorant of something, that don't mean uh, nothing gonna happen to you. It's like people who they like to be not they they want to be neutral. They don't want to believe in this. They don't want to. They just want to be in the middle. Listen, you being ignorant. Uh, Jesus said to one of the churches, he don't like that lukewarm stuff. Mm-hmm. People just in between. He said, I wish you was rather hot or you was cold. You see what I'm saying? That lukewarm stuff, he's going to spit you out and chew you out. Listen, <laughs> many people, they want to be lukewarm. They just want to be ignorant. They don't want to believe in this. They don't want to believe in that. Mm-hmm. They don't want to believe in God. They don't want to believe in the devil. Mm-hmm. Man, you're going to get whooped on left and right. Mm-hmm. You better wake up. You don't know you in a spiritual battle. Mm-hmm. Word. You're a human being. You made up of three. You got a mind, body, and a spirit. Yeah? Word. They, some people mm-hmm. is ignorant. Ignorance of the law is, does not protect you. Okay? Mm-hmm. Just because you don't know something or understand something, mm-hmm. you act like it ain't real or something. That don't protect you. Mm-hmm. You get whooped on just as much as the next person. Uh, hi, gear. Uh, Zephaniah chapter 13 they will do no wrong they will tell no lies a deceitful tongue will not be found in their mouths they will eat and lie down and no one will make them afraid sing daughter Zion shout aloud Israel be glad and rejoice with all your heart daughter Jerusalem Jerusalem the Lord has taken away your punishment he has turned back your enemy <laughs> the Lord the king of Israel is with you I love that Never again will you fear any harm. On that day, they will say to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, do not fear, Zion. Do not let your hands go limp. Do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves you. Mm -hmm. He He will take great delight in you. and his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but but will rejoice over you with singing. I will remove from you all who mourn over the loss of your appointed festivals, which is a burden and re- and reproach for you. At that time, I will deal with all who, who oppressed you. I will rescue the lame and gather the exiles. I will give them praise and honor in every land where they have where, where they have suffered shame. At that time, I will gather you. At that uh, at that time, I will bring you home. Mm, I love that. Mm. God said he's going he gonna to gather the people up and bring us on. <laughs> right up. Uh, I will give you honor and praise among all the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortune before, before your very eyes, <laughs> says the Lord. <laughs> I love that right there, man. <laughs> Lord, I'm going to stop right there. And yeah, God bless you. Uh, all right. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to go somewhere else, but I'm going to stop right there. All right. <laughs> yeah, I like that. All right. All you got to do is be still and see the salvation the Lord going to bring you. All right. Keep on trusting in him and stay steadfast. Keep your mind steadfast on him. And the world we live in, through all the chaos, through all the bull and this and that, 
I, I love Brother David. David said in Psalm 16, verse 8, uh, Psalm chapter 16, verse 8, Brother David said, I keep my eyes always on the Lord, huh? <laughs> if you set your direct, if you set your, if you set your eyesight directly ahead, you ain't worried about looking back or this and that, or to the left or to the right, BS. You must set your eyesight forward. Word. And set your eyes on the right thing. What is right? What's good? Uh, God is good. Everything he got to do, everything that got to do with him is good. You must, you must set your eyes on the right thing. And keep your focus straight ahead. All right? Because there's a lot of distractions. Jesus came to the home of Martha one day. Uh, Mary, she just sat down. And she sat down at the feet of God. And chose to listen to everything he had to say. Listen. Martha came in hot. Like, Lord, don't you care that my sister left me do all the work by myself? Tell her to get up and help me. Jesus said, Martha, Martha. You were and upset about many things. Only few things are required. Are required really only one. Mm. Mary chosen what's best for her, and it's not going to be taken away from her. You must choose what's best for you. Mm. In the world, it's so much stuff that they try to throw at you. Mm. You must choose what's best though. Many people, like they, it's very simple, man. Choose what's best for you. Mm. It, it, it don't get more simple than that. Way right. you got to choose what's best for you. Mm. Many people choose chaotic stuff. Mm. They choose to be. And craziness, <laughs> man. Nah, you gotta choose the best for you. Let the bull stuff go, okay? <laughs> Where? <laughs> or you could do what you want to do. You got a free choice, free will. You want to be crazy? Hey, do what you want to do. Some people like to be crazy. <laughs> if I see people going driving 100, 200 miles down the road or whatever, I'm getting out the way, bro. You ain't going. <laughs> when I was young, you used to do crazy stuff, but as I get old and see, man, this is not where it's at. You wanna, you wanna, <laughs> you wanna get through the day. You don't want to do crazy. You, Act crazy, you're going to shorten your days, okay? Uh, you want to choose the right thing. All right, keep your eyes on the Lord, all right? You're going to be all right. I'm getting off here. Uh, Y'all keep on asking God for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. It's the Holy Spirit leading you to Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be home with our Father one day and get up out of here. You dig? You don't got to wait to die to experience heaven. You can experience it now. Many people, they wait until it's like they, they just... I don't know what the happy would think, but hmm, you got a choice, man. You can choose. You can choose. It's a realm. You can choose. You can live in it. Like you can't experience the full thing, but you can experience it. Okay. Hmm. Or you don't got to die to experience this. All right. Hmm. Some of y'all living in hell right now. True. You ever heard that phrase? Feel like I'm living in hell because you are. You choosing to be. Hmm. You choosing to be hmm, uh, on the wrong side, doing the wrong things. Which, which put you in the wrong realm, in the wrong, does that make any sense to you? Some of y'all choosing to live in hell. About what you doing? You ever hear that phrase? I, I know somebody understand that. I'm just, they, they feel like I'm living in hell. Because you are. About what you doing? You putting yourself in that reality. You, hear, you must choose the right thing. You can experience heaven if you choose the right stuff. Okay? Let a lot of bull crap go. All right? But I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. Y'all keep on praying for me too. And I will see y'all again. Amen. God bless all of y'all.